I think it's really hard being, you know, young or new to anything and knowing what advice to listen to and what is true guidance and mentorship and people like, you know, obviously people who have their your best intention in mind, but like, how do you decipher what to listen to and what to ignore? You know, mm-hmm. like if someone's saying, hey, I don't know if this is a great idea. Is that them like, you know, being your bumpers in a bowling lane or is that them just doubting you and not believing in you? You know, mm-hmm. like how do you try to decipher the two? Yeah, great question. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I think that the challenge is, is that, you know, I always listen to everybody, but I think it's, it's trying to figure out what you take from those conversations. And, Mm -hmm. you know, and as I've said to many entrepreneurs over the years, only you know whether or not you can build this company, start this company, um, you know, stay at this company, whatever, whatever it is. And, and it's, it's really, it starts with you because I think that the other thing that goes on with the entrepreneur is even as cocky as they may seem and, uh, you know, people have called entrepreneurs fearless risk takers and, you know, they've got this bravado, like everything's like, they never make mistakes. Right. The reality is, is that they all have doubts, right? They all have, you know, this, this wonder in their own head, whether or not they can do it. And I think that if you don't believe you can do it, it really does start with you as the entrepreneur, you won't be able to do it. Right. Even if you have all those people out there saying, you should definitely do this. This is the greatest idea. It's awesome. If you don't believe for whatever reason that you can pull this off, it won't get done. Mm-hmm. And, and so it really is about having enough confidence in your own idea and your own vision to be able to go out and execute on it. Mm-hmm. And if you have all of that, then it kind of, it, it, you have, it, it's okay to listen to people, but it's also okay to kind of turn off that noise at times too. I certainly, right. I certainly do. I mean, as I'm building products and what I do do is I listen to the customer. 